And one one valuable lesson I learned about that whole experience is that there's no impartiality in the manosphere. There's no, I shouldn't even say the manosphere. There's no impartiality in the brand of me. In the hustle economy, there ain't no Sweden. There's no neutral countries uh, as much as you would like to. Just the fact that you're not saying something already sides you with something. That's a, that's a lesson I think when the next clusterfuck happens, keep that in mind, brand of me, guys. Keep that in mind. There is no impartiality. We saw exactly that with Fresh and Fit and Abba and Preach. There's no impartiality. You know, you and even if you think you're not picking a side, people will say you picked a side. And that's all that matters. Perception is all that matters online. Um, that was one. The other thing is um, he, uh, Pat went through um, a, a change of the guard, right? When Pat was in Oklahoma and the original radio station that he was syndicated from, um, he, uh, uh, there was times where he, cause he was, he wasn't like, he wasn't Rush Limbaugh, right? He wasn't a guy who was, he, he wasn't, um, uh, not Joe Rogan, um, Jim Rome. He wasn't like that. I and mean, if you know who Jim Rome is, right? He's sports commentator. Um, he wasn't that level, but he had his own show and people, you know, he was syndicated in lots of different markets, but primarily his, his hometown is, is Tulsa and it was local. And then the radio station got bought out and things began to change at that point. And I, I, I could sort of tell things were not well with Pat when this was happening because the, the, the guard had changed and um, the previous management who was cool with uh, Rolo Tomasi coming on and talking about those topics was no longer cool. And he could, he could defend me by the numbers. He could defend me saying this is the most popular show that's on, or this is a popular segment, right? And then little by little, it's like, well, okay, we can, he can be on, but we can only give him, you know, 30 minutes. And I always thought it was great because I would get up earlier and I would listen to um, Dr. Piper just so I had some frame of reference. I would actually get up earlier in order to listen to Dr. Piper. And, um, and then I could sort of see the shift happening right there. And uh, that was something he kind of had to deal with. And I think it kind of rubbed him the wrong way because it's like he has to sort of, you know, sort of still have to play the game, but he, but I'm his friend and I'm, you know, I'm somebody that's important to him as well. And so we're trying to, but he's not the guy that's going to, he doesn't wear his emotions on his sleeve. He doesn't, well, he doesn't remember it's only important to you. He's not the guy who's going to say it should be important to you too. He's not that dude. Very, you want to talk about stoicism? They, Pat Campbell was a stoic without even being, or not, or without trying to be a stoic. Pat Campbell was was hard as a rock, man. I mean, the guy was, he wasn't like unemotional, but he was always in control and in a calculated way, in a way that's, that's, I would say it's natural to him. But he was, he was always in control. He was always respectable. He was always respected. Um, you, didn't, you, never, you never question, oh, is this guy a pussy? No, you never said that about him. He was like the dad you probably wish you had. He was, a, he was a kick in the ass. He would kick you in the ass. because Not because he's like, oh, you're my son. It's because that's what is the most pragmatic course of action here is you need a kick in the ass. And I needed a kick in the ass, especially back then. So it's not like I didn't get, well, I got disciplined, right? Occasionally, especially after that one show. Um, but I learned a lot. Sometimes it's it's tough. Like I think a lot of people look at me and they go, oh, he's got his shit together. Oh, well, man, I really, I wish I, 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 you know, how do you get, how, how do you connect the dots like you do? How do you articulate things? And it's like, well, it's not like it's just the word of God enters my brain or something like that. It's over the course of like practice and, and, recognition and and just doing it and i think he was who he was from just doing pat was pat because he he just did didn't question it. he just did this is how it works just do it now do i know exactly what went on with his wife and his girlfriend and all of the other stuff that was going on at that time i have my suspicions he was very private about that um we did talk about his personal life and i'm not going to get into that right now i might after I do his memorial show. I guess this is kind of a memorial show, but I'm, I might do like a, like a, a dedication or I don't know, whatever. Once, once his memorial's over, I'm 